Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. If you're new here, I would love to have you subscribed. You just have to click that red subscribe button down below and then click the bell beside of it to turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. I'm going to be getting a lot of cleaning done. I'm going to be packing for a trip and I'm also going to be doing a bunch of food prep. On Thursday, the day that this video goes live, I will be flying back to Pennsylvania. That's where my family's from. That's where I grew up is Pennsylvania. And I'm heading back there for my cousin's wedding. It's just going to be me and Owen going back because it's just a really quick weekend trip. I'm just gonna be there for two full days and then I'm coming back home. My husband and Kyle are staying back Back home here that's why I'm doing a bunch of food prep for my husband easy things that he can pack in his lunch he is just crazy busy with oat harvest on the farm right now so there's no way that he would have been able to go with me so I'm just making it a quick weekend trip like I said so the first food item that I wanted to make was some cookies one of my husband's favorite cookies are butterscotch oatmeal so I wanted to make him some of those to have on hand while I'm gone And for the recipe for these cookies, I usually just always follow the recipe on the back of the butterscotch chips bag. And then after those cookies were done and they were baking in the oven, then I went into my bedroom to start getting that cleaned up, made my bed, and I wanted to start figuring out what I was gonna pack. I already had a few things ready to go, but nothing was in my bag yet. And I wasn't gonna start packing all of my clothes yet because I'm doing laundry today as well. So I wanted to get all of the laundry done and then I would decide what all I was gonna pack. And when I'm packing, packing clothes for a trip. First I make my bed and then on top of the bed I will just lay out each outfit like down to the jewelry. I just have each outfit for each day laid out on the bed just so that I can see everything, make sure that I have an outfit for each day and then I will pack it all in the bag. I'm sure that everybody else does that as well. The next area that I wanted to get some cleaning done in was the boys playroom. It was kind of messy in here. I wanted to get this cleaned up before I started packing Owen's clothes. And as I'm getting stuff done, I just take a break about every seven or eight minutes when my cookies get done in the oven and I go and get them out and then I put a new batch in the oven and I actually did really good with this batch of cookies. I didn't burn any of them. Usually I always burn at least one pan full of cookies it seems like when I'm making cookies. I don't know why I always like put them in the oven and then I'll forget about them and go do something else. I forget to set the timer and then they end up burning a little bit, but I did really good this time and I didn't burn any of the cookies.
Owen is big enough now that he can carry his own little backpack when we fly so I was just packing him his own little bag here and I've learned over the years with flying with toddlers that you don't need to pack their bag full of a ton of little toys. I just wanted to show you what I packed in his bag here so the first thing is the cord for his headphones. I've got his little teddy in there that he can snuggle with on the plane when he wants to sleep and then I've got a bag full of animal crackers, his headphones and these headphones were sent to me by the brand MPOW. They sent me two of them, one for each of my boys which was really nice of them and we have been loving these headphones they're so awesome and one of the awesome features that they have is they have a sharing function so I can plug both of the boys headphones into each other and then just plug one of them into the iPad or whatever they're watching a movie on and so they can both be watching a movie or playing games on the same device these are awesome I will have them linked down below thank you so much to this company for sending me these headphones for my boys and then I just filled the bag the rest of the way full of diapers like all the diapers that I'll need for the trip because that's nice and lightweight for him to hold on his back and then of course I am taking the iPad and it has like a kid's case on it and we've got a bunch of like toddler games on there and little movies that is just the best thing when you are flying with toddlers is just get an iPad or a Kindle something if you don't have one and that is going to keep them entertained for a long time that they can watch movies on or play games it's something that will keep them entertained for hours whereas little toys and little books things like that that you're just going to end up dropping under the seat and losing it's only going to keep them entertained for like five ten minutes tops and then they're going to be wanting to do something else and then you have all this stuff taking up room in the bag and so i've just learned you just take like an ipad and you save that for last like until you absolutely need it and then it'll usually last for the rest of the flight and then i take a bunch of snacks snacks is another big thing you can just feed them one at a time it'll keep them entertained for a while and usually for like at least the first 30 minutes of the flight at least my kids anyway they'll just sit there and look around at what's going on and look out the window and stuff like that and then you can start bringing out the stuff that you have in the bag but snacks and movies and games and things on the iPad are like the best thing ever for kids and also I will probably put one of those in his bag as well they're like a little drawing pad I'm not sure if you've ever seen them at Target they're little plastic drawing pads not that big and they have the pencil attached on a string to the pad so that they can't lose it and it's so much easier than taking a bunch of crayons and a bunch of coloring books and stuff that way they don't drop any crayons or anything so yeah I'm gonna quit babbling about that but hopefully that was helpful and I didn't repeat myself too much but yeah that's just what I've learned over the years with flying with toddlers so there you can see I got some laundry started um, and then I went into the kitchen and started washing some dishes that were in the sink the dishes from making the cookies I was all done making the cookies got those put into a bag once they were cooled off next thing on my list was to prep some breakfast burritos for my husband just so that I could have them all in the fridge and then he can just grab one put it in the microwave to heat it up and take it on the go make it easier for him and so these breakfast burritos are his favorite it's just scrambled eggs and then I add in some diced up summer sausage you could use any kind of sausage you could use bacon you could put anything in these that you want and then I just top it with cheese and wrap it all up in a flour tortilla and the list that I made of stuff that I wanted to get done before I left was so long it started out as just a couple of things and then as the day went on I just kept adding more things to the list when you're even just leaving for a couple days you don't realize just how much that you have to get done before you leave especially when you're leaving some people at home because you have to leave them food and you want to leave the house cleaned up for them <music>
the next thing on my list was that I needed to cut up and wash all of this fruit that I had on hand. I was going to put some of it in the fridge and the rest of it in the freezer. And then after that, I took some of the fruit and made me and the boys a smoothie because I hadn't really eaten much so far today because I've been so busy. to be it for today's video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did be sure and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and i'm not going to be vlogging at all on this trip that i'm going on but i probably will be posting on instagram so make sure that you're following me over there if you have instagram my instagram name is hannah's happy home i'm going to just be leaving my laptop and my camera at home just taking a little break for the weekend and just enjoy the little bit of time that i get to spend with my family so if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you join and I will see you in my next video. Bye!